Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Chef Young B right here. If you want to see how I prepare this very delicious honey garlic wing, serve with seasoned baked potato, just stick around now. I will show you right after the break. Today I'll be preparing a very delicious honey garlic wings served with seasoned baked potato. So right here I have one and a half pounds of wings, right? And guess what guys? <laughs> I'll be eating this all by myself. Wow. Alright, so right over here I have roughly about two pounds of Irish, right? That I actually went off camera and peel and cut in some nice chunk size bites, right? Right over here, I have two cups of flour and one cup of cornstarch and all the other ingredients I'm going to use. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start by mixing a couple of these powder seasons together. Reason being, I'm going to use this powder season on the chicken wings the potato and both the flour, right? So first I'm gonna start by adding one tablespoon of paprika. Also gonna add one tablespoon of lemon and herb seasoning. Also gonna add one tablespoon of oregano Also, gonna add one tablespoon of garlic and herb seasoning. Also, gonna add one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Also, gonna add one tablespoon of Maggi all-purpose seasoning also gonna add one tablespoon of cool running chicken seasoning now I'm gonna go ahead and just mix all these seasoning together right now I'm gonna go ahead and season my wings so I've been using about half the portion or almost half the portion of the season on the wings right also I'm gonna add an egg just to give it a little fluff, right? To make it nice and crispy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rub the season all into my wings, right? All right, guys, you notice I didn't use any salt, right? Because majority of these season nowadays have enough salt to perfectly season these chickens right you don't have to add any extra salt if you add any extra salt trust me you would probably over salt these chickens nice so i'm just gonna let it sit for about half an hour just to properly marinate all right guys so now for my potato i'm gonna add about half more the portion of season that left right so I'm going to leave this for the floor. Also going to add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm going to go ahead and rub the seasoning all 
Ovo na potatoes. For the other remaining season, right, that left, I'm just gonna add it to my flour and cornstarch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all in. Just like that. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start frying these chicken wings, all right? First, I'm gonna start by adding some vegetable oil. And I'm just gonna add just enough to submerge the chicken wings, right? So they prep fry properly. Oh, that good enough. All right, guys, so meanwhile, my oil is getting hot, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding my flour to these chicken wings, right? So I'm just gonna fold, fold, fold and press, right? Fold again, press. Because if you ensure that you get enough flour on the chicken to get a nice crispy outcome, right? All right, so I'm just gonna shake that excess flour off and place them in my other container. All right, guys, I also went ahead and set my oven to preheat at 350 degrees. And now I'm gonna go ahead and rest my potatoes inside the oven. And I'm gonna leave it to bake for 45 minutes. Now that my oil is hot, right? I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my chicken wings. So, me want my chicken wings to fry, right? I got this pineapple slice, as you can see right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to my blender, all right? And I could just use the juice alone, right? But actually, I'm just gonna blend the pineapple as well, just to get a richer and nicer flavor. Right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add about a half cup of my pineapple. Now I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of pure organic honey, right? Also going to add four tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Now I'm gonna add a half cut of freshly squeezed lemon juice.
also gonna add one tablespoon of minced ginger also one tablespoon of minced garlic one tablespoon of light soy sauce now I'm going to mix it all together add half cup of water right And I'm gonna place on the stove to boil until it thickens and the sauce is properly fused together. So after boiling my sauce for 10 minutes, this is what it's looking like now, right? Nice, rich, and thick. So now I'm gonna go ahead and toss a couple of my wings inside the sauce. I'm just gonna go ahead and coat my wings, all right? And show you the finishing product right after this. All right, guys, this is the finishing product of my only garlic wings, right? And my season baked potato look at it oh look look delicious right taste delicious too <laughs> we should be tasting this right now wow nice all right guys so now i'm gonna go ahead and do a little taste this for y'all right now first i'm gonna start with the seasoned baked potato right wow wow guys i can taste the italian herbs the oregano all the flavor combined in the irish potato right now it's off the chain trust me wow mm -mm. let me take the next one there this is oven right here Trust me, mm -mm. I'm gonna enjoy this. Wow. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try the chicken. Mm. Wow, very flavorful. Mm -mm. You can taste a lemon, you can taste herbs, you can taste everything combined. Wow, this is an awesome taste. Trust me, mm -mm. this is off the chain. Look at it. Look at it, watch here. Can you see it? Mm. This is love right here. Trust me. It's got, you guys should be tasting this right now. It's off the chain. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this. Trust me. So eat up guys. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera. So until next time, take care, goodbye. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Just hit that notification bell below to keep up to date with all the latest videos each and every week. So until then, take care, I'm out.